Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Lulu Make. Today, I'm so excited. We are going to create a beautiful animal with the black stripes on orange fur with the white undersides. Can you guess what we are going to do? Yes, you are correct. We are going to create a beautiful tiger craft. Before we do, let's go over what we need. For this craft, we will need a watercolor paper, a black pergamen marker, a plate or a round object to trace, one white and one red crayon, or you can also use oil pastel if you want, a tin foil, an orange marker, a cup with water and a paintbrush, two googly eyes, the bigger the better, a pair of scissors, and blue. First, place the object you are going to trace onto the watercolor paper, right in the middle of it. Now, let's trace it all around using our permanent marker. If you need help, always ask the grown-up who is with you today to help you. Next, let's draw the ears of our tiger. Let's start with the left ear first. We are going to go up and around and back down. It's just like drawing an arch over a rainbow. Let's repeat the same step on the right side. Up and around and back down. Now we need to make the inner ear make the same arch just a bit smaller. Now, it's time to design the nosy nose of our tiger. We want to find the middle of our circle right there and draw a straight line from here to there. Next, we are going to draw a letter U. We are going to connect this part of the straight line with this one. Are you ready? And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and finish the step. Next, we are going to draw an oval shape right here in the middle. Beautiful. And once you are done, let's color it black. To finish up, we are going to draw a curved line down, just like this, from the nosey nose all the way down. Next, we are going to use our red crayon to draw two rounded cheeks, one on the left side and one on the right side. First, draw a circle like that. And then we are going to make it a smaller and smaller and smaller. We need to repeat the same step on the right side. And remember the googly eyes I was talking about at the beginning? We will use them almost at the end of the craft. For now, we can mark with our permanent marker where the eyes will go. Simply make a dot right here and right there. Now, it's time to design the black stripes. There are so many different ways we can draw them. I like to think of stripes as the letter U. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's move it right to the top of the tiger's face and draw a long letter U. Are you ready? Now, let's draw one letter U on the left side, right here, just a little bit smaller, and one a letter U on the right side. Now it's your turn. And remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video and finish your craft at your own speed. Did you make your stripes? Excellent. You don't need much. Remember, we are using our imagination. So your tiger might look different from mine and that's completely fine. And you know what? I forgot a few stripes on the ears. Let's draw them as well. It's the same principle. One letter U in the middle and then one on the left and one on the right. And let's do the same thing on the right ear. Now, we need to color all these stripes black. Ready, steady, let's go. And remember, if you need a break, just have a break and come back to it once you are ready. 
or ask the grown-up or your older sibling to help you with the coloring. I know, this is not easy. Let's have fun with it, shall we? Look at this! Looks amazing, doesn't it? We are almost done with creating the tiger's face. If we look at the tiger's face, we can see white parts around his nosy nose and mouth. Sometimes tigers have also some white parts right on the sides. Shall we color them? So let's find your white crayon or a oil pastel, whatever you have, and let's color the nosy nose right here. I know using white crayon on a white paper is really, really hard to see. So let's try our best to just color all this part white, okay? And sometimes it helps us if we can go a little bit lower and look a little bit closer to see if we cover the whole space. Okay, I think I'm done right here. And now I'm going to color the sides right here. So a little bit over here. I know you cannot see it. Probably cannot see it also on your paper, but it's fine. Trust me, it will be beautiful. Now let's go a little bit over here on the left side and over there. Oh my friends, this was a lot of work to this another tiger. But now the best part is going to start. So let's move our paper to the side and let's find our tin foil right here. That is perfect. And now let's find our orange marker. And we are just going to move our marker or we are just going to color the tin foil just like this from left to right, right to left, and all the way down. Okay, I think I'm done. I think this is the right amount. Let's close your marker. Remember to always close your markers, my friends. It's really important. We don't want them to dry all up. Now, find your paintbrush and a cup of water, as well as your tiger scrub. So let's just move the tin foil just for a little bit to the side. And let's bring back the tiger. Now let's dip your paintbrush inside the water. Tap the paintbrush to get the excess water out. And now we are going to trace this black outline of the tiger. I know we are using water so we cannot really see. But trust me, now let's do the ears, the inner ears. So let's look at the inner ears. And now we are just going to move a little bit more water. We want to cover the tiger's face with water. Just remember, we don't want to put too much water on your paper, otherwise you can create a hole. And we don't want that. This is my tiger. <gasps> I covered with water and now the magic is going to happen. Are you excited? I'm so, so excited. Let's move your tin foil back. And now we want to put our tiger scribe face down, facing the orange. Okay, ready, steady. Let's flip your paper and let's press it down and let's just massage a little bit the paper. And let's count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we are going to slowly remove the paper. Look at this, ah! I love my tiger. How does your look like? Something is missing on the face. What is that? What do you think is missing? We are missing the googly eyes. We need to stick them on the tiger scrap. So let's find our glue. And now let's open the glue. Ready, steady, let's go. Okay, so squeeze a little bit of the glue on the googly eye, just like that. And now remember we marked it before. So we'll just stick that googly eye right there. And let's do the same thing on the right side. And eye number isn't this beautiful? I'm so proud of myself and you should be as well because this crap is just so pretty, isn't it? You are going to go right there on my wall. Do you also display your art on your walls? 
let me know in the comments below. And do you know what's the last part of my art class? You don't? Let me show you. It's a wiggle dance. I like to move my arms to the left and to the right. And then a big high five. Also stretch your arms to the side. And once you are ready, let's tap yourself on the back and say, good job. Thank you so much for coming and creating with me. I'm always happy to see your creation. So please, if you like this video, you know what you have to do? Well, if you want to like the video, hit the subscribe button for more fun art class and tutorials. And I will see you next time, my friends. Okay, so keep going, keep crafting. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, my friends. Thank you for joining and coming along.